So, um, I'm joined with Patrick Liu, who is executive producer? Or no, producer? Se senior producer. Senior producer. Yeah, senior. Um, all these titles. For, uh, for, modern, <laughs> or for, for Medal of Honor. And uh, it's a new modern day shooter. It's a relaunch of the Medal of Honor franchise. Yes. Excited to be working on it? Oh yeah, very excited. Cool. And um, what's going to set this apart from the, the recent slew of modern day shooters that we've got? Um, including we, your own battlefield. Including, you know, yeah, we're competing <laughs> with ourselves, yeah. really. You know, and that's that's kind of interesting because we saw this as a creative opportunity to to make something different. You know, uh, yeah. no, there are certain things that you you can and can't make with battlefield. Yeah. And all the stuff that we can't make with battlefield, we put into this. Really, you know, a uh, much faster game, uh, more infantry focus, you know, close quarters combat, yeah. and. Also, it's, it's more, much more scaled back in the sense that you know, we, we want to focus more on, on you as a player, you know, your skill, your gun, um, and not so much about chance and, and you know, just throw, throwing grenades somewhere and yeah. trying to accidentally hit someone or you know, the, the mortar strikes or whatever. It's, it's much more about you knowing the map, uh, anticipating where the enemy comes from, uh, stuff like that, you know, much more old school. Um, team deathmatch. And stuff. on that, uh, one of our members, Micro, he was asking if there'll be uh, proper kind of stats tracking online, like the ability to see how well you do in certain maps or how good you are with certain weapons. Uh, yeah, definitely. You know, if, if you look at how bad companies working, you know, we 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 took that and, and we improved upon it. Yes. Uh, you know, we added some other stats that we that's more relevant for this game. Sure. Uh, one thing, for example, is the the actual skill value for as you, you as a player. So. It basically says how good you are, um, and it's not just about kill death ratio or just accuracy, or whatever. You know, it's it's a whole lot of things that plays into. You play as a team. And yeah, it's a team member. You know, you help out your team. You know, objectives. You know, heal them. Blah blah, blah stuff like that. Excellent. Um, what would have been the the biggest challenges you came across as as a producer and, and you know as a team getting this game out? Um, yeah, I would say. I mean, a lot of people in the team uh, was on. Bad company, for example, yeah. other battlefield games, and myself included. And you know, just in the beginning, to to change my mindset from battlefield to something else, yeah. uh, and then you know, change the mindset of the team, you know, and convince everyone else that we're doing something else in battlefield. Yeah. Uh, I think I think that has been the biggest challenge, really. And you know, now we're over it, obviously. So, and do you see it something as as dice are going to stick with kind of? Do a multiplayer side of gaming on behalf of other franchises, or is that something that, that you would see Dice doing? Um, no, I, I don't think it's going to be uh, something we do a lot. It's more the opportunity to yeah. game along yeah. with this. Okay, that's good stuff. Um, so you've mentioned that there's going to be uh, server side stuff, and will there be modding and stuff for the PCs? Uh, no, they're, they're not, not, there's not going to be any mod tools. Okay, but um, I mean, it's clear from. From what I've seen, anyway, it looks like you're definitely giving PCs more options, so to say. You were talking about the hardcore mode earlier on, yeah. and that PC players will be able to customize what elements of the hardcore mode. Is, is that the way it's going to be? Like you can do hardcore with the mini map or with the cross. Yeah, yeah. So example. you can, you know, check. You know, if you have any kind of remote control yeah. tool that you can, you know, check off what you want or don't want from the number of players. You have, yeah, yeah. you have spectate modes. You can put spectate slots in there so sure. people can. You know, Report from any uh, matches. You know, oh, and um, there will be so there, there will be like a released server, a dedicated server client for PCs. Yes. No, so it, it's, it's or you can rent servers. Yeah, you can rent the servers as in that company. Yeah. So you can there are you know, a huge number of providers that you can choose from. Yeah. Okay, good stuff. Um, I had one person ask. Uh, Gun Monkey is his name. He's asking if there's plans in mind for Battlefield Three. Yes, there is a battlefield three in the development. Is this something that Dice are going to be having a hand in? Do you know yet, or can you talk about it? I can say that we are developing battlefield three. Okay, excellent. That's good to know. And uh, another one of our members, Alan B, was wondering if uh, there's ever going to be any development in Ireland. Have you ever opened an Irish office? Well, we don't have any plans currently. Yeah. With open up a new studio anywhere yeah. in the world. Yeah. Anywhere at all. You're based in Stockholm, yeah? Yes. Good stuff. Um, what are you most 
looking for in terms of reaction, shall we say, from the community with this game? Because Medal of Honor, it's, it's a big franchise and it is a big risk to, to relaunch it, so to speak. Yeah. So is there, is there anything that, that you're really looking to hear from people? Um, well, hopefully positive stuff, yes, obviously. Course. And, um, you know, we, we heard a lot of already with the closed beta, you know, we, we put it out early just so we yeah. could get proper feedback and could make significant changes to the game. Um, so you know, I, hopefully people will see that we have listened and that we have improved the game the way they, they, they want to. Uh, so I want to hear more of that. Yeah, you mentioned earlier on when you were talking um, that it would have been a new experience for console players to have had such a, a chance to have an early beta like that. Um, how has that been as a, a kind of, I suppose, an experiment almost overall? How has that worked out for you? You said there was some negative feedback. Oh yeah, obviously. Yeah. Um, the game wasn't finished, yeah. I can admit that. Yeah. Um, it was it was kind of a struggle for us to, to get it out first because mm. you know even even the the, the console uh, companies they, they they're not used to it either. Yeah. But we, we managed to you know convince them it's a good idea. Yeah. And it, it was. And it, it was also a bit demoralizing for the team to, okay. to see the, the critique. Although we were prepared that this would come, uh, but now the the reward for doing that afterwards uh, you know, overweighs that by far. Yeah, good stuff. Uh, I mean, I, I come from a PC gaming background, so it's it's not unusual for me to have seen the media. I did have access to the media. Um, I haven't played now for the last ten minutes, or so I can definitely see some improvements. Um, what was the number one that you were asked for uh, between the beta and, and the feedback you got from that? What was the most the most important change that people requested? I think I think uh, two things were very clear. It was the uh, the user, user interface mm -hmm. that we changed a uh, you know, complete overhaul yeah. and the weapon recoil. Yeah. It was very clear feedback that we changed also. Um, so you, there's a nice little mix of weapons and so on in there. Um, just having the, the playthrough we've got all the weapons slots are open and so yeah, on yeah. Um, was there any difficulty in sort of people's expectations of well I've used this gun in this game and it behaves completely differently in your game you know do people get worried about those sorts of things yeah yeah of course you know we have expectations as well on weapons and uh, at the same time, you have to balance them out. You know, there, there's, there are always problems yeah. with certain weapons in all games. You know, even in our own games. Uh, you know, we we hate grenade spam. We hate you know running around knifing people. We hate snipers, obviously, stuff like that that you need to balance, but that people still want in some sense. Um, but being very careful in making all the weapons very balanced. It's not like one or two weapons are overpowered that everyone going to use, yeah. and it's also that important to say that no weapon is underpowered, so all weapons matters, you know, and whatever combination you can find out with the modifications, they're still gonna balance out. So that's that's the whole intention. Uh, and that that is very important for us that you know it's more about you and your player skill rather than what weapon you have unlocked. And what will the, the, the kind of progression that the unlocks I suppose for multiplayer um, how many Hours roughly, do you think someone may have to put into the game to, to have unlocked everything, like all the good weapons and all of the I think um, and so? an average, uh, maybe 100 hours. Yeah. If you're really, really skilled, probably half that time. Uh, and then a whole lot of people take more time than that. And, um, well, I suppose in terms of comparison, what would the, the average player with a bad company do? What sort of time online are they spending? And do you expect similar sorts of uh, uh, commitment, shall we say, to the game from this? Yeah, I hope so. You know, it's been it's been very difficult to predict actually yeah. because you know it is a dice game. So if people that knows that will play a lot. I think. Yeah. At the same time, if you look at the franchise, I think they've had more of a of a single player tradition mm -hmm. and less of a multiplayer tradition. Yeah. We hope to change that, obviously. Yeah. Um, so no, we'll see. But and. Um, you mentioned that you've made some improvements to this uh, Frostbite engine for this. Um, Frostbite itself, uh, do you see more titles coming for that, or maybe a new engine, or is that something you can talk about yet? Um, yeah, I mean, we are going to continue making Frostbite games, that's yeah. uh, that's our engine. Uh, we have made, oh, well, we're working on a new generation of Frostbite, uh, which I think our, our 
rendering architect has been talking about that at SIGGRAPH and so on. So people know that we are working on a new Frostbite engine and uh, all I can say is it's awesome. You know, this, it's, this is nothing compared to what we have in the future. Excellent. Good to hear. Um, and, and with that sort of development, like, obviously you, you've uh, partnered with PlayStation for a lot of the development in our demo machines here today, or PlayStation. Um, it's a very powerful machine, uh, but at the same time you want this to be multi-platform, so do you find it a, a big problem being almost limited by some of the architecture that you have to work with, or do you sort of relish the opportunity to say, well, this is the barrier that we have to aim for? Um, it can become quite annoying at times because the hardware is limited. Uh, I know all, 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 all platforms really. Uh, obviously, the PC is the most powerful platform. Um, at the same time, it's it is very nice uh, with the challenge and, and having limits because if we had you know unlimited resources, I don't know. Ended up like Duke Nukem forever. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> That's great. Right. Um, how big of a team have you got working on the game? I'm not sure about single player team. But well, just even from your own side, from the other player. Um, 35. And that's all the way from Stockholm, yeah? Yeah. I've, just, I've had um, a couple of questions about how you became a games producer and, and, and the, the kind of career aspects sure. of that. If you don't mind explaining, how is it that you got into this industry? I just uh, applied for a job. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that was pretty much it. Oh, did you start as a coder? No, I actually started as a producer from start. Well, I was a project manager. Yeah. Um, although I, I, I've been very involved in the, uh, the demo scene before, yeah. you know, with both coding and graphics, and I, I guess that helps. You know, a lot of people at Dice are on the demo scene, or they're still active on the demo scene actually. So, that's so I started in uh, in another company, and then I moved to Dice. That's I kind of been. And uh, you're on a big tour, I suppose, at the moment promoting this game at the minute. Yep. <laughs> All over Ireland today, where are you going tomorrow? No, actually heading home oh, tonight. Right. I'm back to Stockholm. So. Good stuff. Right. Well, listen, thanks very much for your time, Patrick. Thank it's been you. a pleasure. Thanks. Looking forward to getting the game out. Yeah. And uh, fingers crossed. What's the release date for it? It's uh, October 15th. October 15th. Good stuff. Uh, well, hopefully it'll all go well. Yeah. It's a good game. Thank you. I thanks. hope everyone enjoys it. I, I do. hope so too. I'm going back now to yeah. sit into it for another while. Yeah. Okay. Excellent. Good thanks stuff. very much for your time. Thank you. Cheers. Yeah.